Hello everybody, welcome back to the last episode of Catatouille. It's very sad, but we hope to make your spirits bright this evening. I'm Joseph Lambert. And I'm Marcy Agers, and today we are making blizzard cookies, eggnog, and building a gingerbread house. These are the ingredients that you need for blizzard cookies. To get started for the blizzard cookies, what we're going to do first is add in our butter and cream cheese to cream them together, but we are cutting them into smaller pieces so it'll be easier for us to mix together. All right, here we go. Careful. I'm scared, what are you doing? What? It's gonna be first from person. I don't know. I feel like you're better at it. Next, we're going to add in the sugars and our egg to our cream cheese, butter, and vanilla mix. So we're gonna set this mixture off to the side and we're going to mix together our flour, cornstarch, baking soda, and salt all together. When you mix your dry ingredients, you just use a fork, and then once you put it into the wet ingredients, you just want to use something small, like a small cup, and put it in a little bit at a time, that way it's easier to mix. We were using a spatula to stir this together, but it got pretty dry, and then from there you'll just use your hands to stir everything in, that way you can get all the flour in. Marcy is done with the wet and dry ingredients, and now we're just gonna add our chocolate chips, and she'll continue with that. Are you the chocolate chip man like now? That? You get the dough off my hands. You're putting flour over the top of them and then I'm just rolling them so it'll come off. Life hacks. By Catatouille. Next, add in the sprinkles and stir until combined. After your cookie dough mix is all mixed together, we are going to cover it and put it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to let it chill. And when we come back, we'll be making eggnog. Welcome back everybody. It is time to make our eggnog. And here's what you need for those. All right, 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk our egg yolks, sugar, and our salt into a bowl. Now we're going to whisk together our eggs, sugar, and salt. Marcy is done uh, whisking that together, and so now we're gonna add our milk, whipping cream, nutmeg, and vanilla extract. We are going to go ahead and whisk those together. All right, Marcy is done with that. Now we're going to whisk the egg whites until they form soft peaks, which will take about four minutes. We're done whisking everything together. Now we'll just take the whites and add them into our cream mixture and fold them into it a little bit at a time. All right, everything's done with the eggnog. We're gonna put it into the fridge and let it chill until it's cool. And we're gonna take our cookies, the cookie dough out of it, and we're going to put it under our paper. Now that our cookies are chilled, we're going to scoop them out and put them on our paper and then put them into the oven. Now that our cookies are all beveled out, Joseph is spraying the bottom of the cup and he's pressing them out so we'll have nice round cookies. We're going to put them into the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And then we're going to take them out and let them cool for 10 minutes. We're going to attempt to make a gingerbread house and a little gingerbread Joseph and a little gingerbread Marcy. <laughs> Now that our cookies are out of the oven and our eggnog is out of the refrigerator and our ginger red house is done, we're gonna ask Tez to come on and try the eggnog and cookies with us. How are you doing tonight, Tez? Fine, how are you? I'm good. Oh, Joseph just went after it. Little I couldn't eggnog wait. stash. It's pretty good. I like it. Very cream. Mm -hmm. Smooth. All right. I enjoy it. Good, good. You want to try a cookie? One of our blizzard balls? Mm. I'm going to try this one. A blizzard ball cookie. Mm. 
All right, my toes. There we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's soft. Like a blizzard. Soft, fluffy. <laughs> Isn't that white chocolate? It is white chocolate. White chocolate chips and sprinkles. I like it. I like it too. It's really good. Well, thank you all for tuning in this semester. Thank you to Amy and Phil Shrek for allowing us to use their place. We've had a blast making this show, and uh, thank you to the viewers for watching us. Uh, catch us next time on KNWT Channel 8. See you next season.